Is your dog turning into a kangaroo, jumping on everyone they meet? We've all been there. Your dog is just so excited, but those jumps can be overwhelming, right? Stick around, because today I'm going to share with you the top five ways to train your dog not to jump. By the end of this video, you'll have all the tools you need to turn your bouncy buddy into a well-mannered companion. Let's jump right in. But before we get started, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Number 5. The Power of Ignoring At number 5, we have the simplest yet most effective technique, ignoring. When your dog jumps on you, they're seeking attention, whether it's positive or negative. By turning your back, folding your arms, and avoiding eye contact, you're telling your dog that jumping won't get them what they want. The moment they stop jumping, immediately reward them with attention and treats. Consistency is key here. It might take a few tries, but your dog will soon understand that staying grounded gets them what they crave, your love and attention. Number 4. The Sit Command Next up at number four is using the sit command as a preventative measure. Teach your dog to sit when greeting people. Start by practicing this at home in a calm environment. When your dog approaches, ask them to sit. Only give them attention when they obey. Gradually increase the level of distraction by having friends or family enter the room. Reinforce the sit command each time your dog gets excited to greet someone. Eventually, sitting will become your dog's go-to response instead of jumping. Number three, the leash trick. In the third spot, we have the leash trick. This method works wonders, especially when you're out in public. Keep your dog on a leash when you anticipate they'll want to jump, like during walks or when guests arrive. As your dog starts to jump, gently step on the leash to limit their movement. This action prevents them from reaching their desired height and teaches them that jumping isn't allowed. Once they calm down, release the leash pressure, reward them with treats, and praise their good behavior. This method is particularly useful for strong or large dogs that may be harder to control. Number two, the no reward marker. Coming in at number two is the, the no reward marker technique. This method involves using a specific word or sound like uh-uh or nope to signal to your dog that jumping is not acceptable. The key here is to use the marker consistently every time your dog jumps. Follow it up by withholding any attention until all four paws are back on the ground. As soon as they stop jumping, offer a treat and some praise. Over time, your dog will associate jumping with the no reward marker and understand that this behavior won't earn them what they want. This method is highly effective when paired with positive reinforcement as it clearly communicates to your dog which behaviors are undesired and which are rewarded. Number 1. The Consistency Challenge Finally, at number 1, we have the Consistency Challenge, which is arguably the most important technique of all. Consistency isn't just about you, it's about everyone who interacts with your dog. If you're training your dog not to jump, but your friends or family members are still rewarding the behavior, your efforts might be undermined. Make sure everyone is on the same page. No one should give your dog attention when they jump. Explain the techniques you're using, like ignoring, using the sit command, and employing the no reward marker. The more consistent everyone is, the faster your dog will learn. Additionally, remember that training takes time. Don't get discouraged if your dog doesn't catch on right away. With patience, repetition, and consistent application of these methods, your dog will soon understand that keeping all four paws on the ground is the way to go. So guys, and there you have it, five tried and true methods to train your dog not to jump. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more dog training tips and tricks. Have you tried any of these methods before? Let me know in the comments below which one worked best for your dog. And if you have any other tips or questions, feel free to share them as well. Thanks for watching and remember, a well-trained dog is a happy dog. See you in the next video.